All right, so here are some other coins I want to do. And this talks about that recent vice principal that got killed. I think it was yesterday or the day before. I think the day before, all right. Yeah, it was on um, yesterday, basically. Yeah. As a high school, um, a lady called Colleen Walker, and is making the headlines now. And I even did some commentary online about it, but I had to make the video. So it is. So, this, so education ministry sent by murder excels her vice principal. Ministry of Education expressed in shock at the tragic murder of Vice Principal of Excelsior High, High Colleen Walker. The educator shot and killed yesterday while tending to a garden at home in Queensbury, St. Andrew, by a man who approached her on foot. Minister of the Portfolio, Carl Samud, in expressing condolences to the family, school, school community of Walker, said that Carl's nature should be condemned. Now, are, we, are they going to be suggesting that, hey, we need an investigation and catch a killer? Um, no mention of that, but let's continue. And usually it's after his condolence. And you're going to talk about that she had was at Excelsior High for over 12 years. And I think it says that she had um, she had a, she had various other positions. And so she was really high on the social ladder. This is what I'm getting. I mean, if I'm incorrect, um, let me know. All right. Um, and it was basically... And basically, just say that the investigations are con are continuing. Now, you know, the thing is, I don't really do the quote so much anymore because, again, this is it was a really long article. There's no need, and it doesn't really add much to it if they're just going to just see what's obvious. Now, I think what was initially said was it said that the person who killed her um, walked up on foot, had a conversation with her, and then as he was leaving, he he shot her. But I think what um no I was listening to Politics Watch and Sir P is always on the ball on this because there's stuff that I don't know that he reveals in his videos because it says that his she had three sons I think her youngest son uh I think one of her sons the recent who current saying that the uh, his brother her she and him were at home this car was circling around trying to find out where she was and then and then unfortunately for the late Mrs Walk Mrs Walker that. She was oblivious to what was going on, and then I think they did a drive-by shooter. So apparently, it refutes the claim that the group, um, the her assassin, walk uh, engaged her in conversation before walking it off. So, uh, so if what I'm hearing is that, and this is a record from the son that this was someone that was not known to her. And my initial thing when I heard this was, I think it was definitely a hit though, because usually when someone who's in that um in that position very accomplished and whatever and they don't know much about them personally yeah that means yeah that they most likely had some enemies and is that i'm um, that wanted them out of the way so and we're yet to reveal who may want to who sent those guys because i've said it according to records that these were not persons she knew directly there was a somebody who probably got a picture of her probably got her address and then when they um, knew that she was going to be out at a certain time. Because I'm thinking that I'm willing to bet that whoever sent them knew her personally. That they probably knew where she, knew what her, um, what she, her habit, her, her habitual nature was. That, she's, that she, they said she was gardening, gardening at home in Queensbury. So they think, okay, they say, okay, she's going to be doing this and this at this time of the day. So... We're just going to give you her face and her and her dress, and then as soon as you take get the shot, take it. Yeah, so that looks like that set up. That this was definitely somewhat a hit, and I think the question that comes at this point is, where are the killers and whoever hired them going to be caught and exposed? That is the biggest question at this point, because there's a it was just obviously that this was meant. This was a I, I, that she was a target of somebody who were of some people or somebody who wants her to picture for every reason because it'd be interesting to see if if they cover who she might have known who she had a fallout with or who or whatever that who wanted her taken out and we have to say so I mean like I didn't know her I can't say what kind of person she was I mean, I've heard good stuff about her from online, but I don't know her personally. But uh, my prayers go to her children, though, because like I think like her first sons, I think it said that it was her sons, one of her sons' birthday 
yesterday and for him to get a year older while losing his mom um that that's something that is that's going to be hard to i can't even imagine the, what he and his brothers are going through right now and all i can just pray is that they get justice that's all i'm going to pray that they that they continue to be strong and that whoever did that people did this that there's going to be just that they're going to get theirs that's all my prayer is though but We'll see what facts come up, but again, this is the definitely the making of a hit. And as I said, because I'm noticing a lot of these individuals who, especially those who have, are making or um, making or accomplishing a lot financially, especially in Jamaica when the economy is a crap hole, I'm sorry to say, they get taken out in under very mysterious circumstances. This does seem like this trend is continuing. All right, and yeah, I know people are going to think that this is going to lead to some tinfoil hat rant saying that there are these there's a co uh, collective effort to take out accomplished individuals i wouldn't be surprised if there was but this just sounds like this is definitely she was definitely this was she was definitely assassin she of uh, the people who took her out were definitely hired hired to take her out these were hired killers that's all like that's what it most likely concludes but Again, let's see what turns out. And again, I pray that justice and retribution will follow soon. All right. So that's all I have to say. This is for State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my other YouTube pages. Miles Goodson Fair and the Miles Jeff Productions.